Hey designer friends, today I have five beautiful and inspiring websites for you. They all happen to be the portfolios of super talented female designers and I'm sure you'll take a lot of ideas for your next web design projects. Let's dive right into it. The first website is this one for Karina. She is a Brazilian designer based in San Francisco. What you see here is just random shapes. That's all we have on the page. We can't scroll and her name here. And if we click one of these, it's kind of like unmasking the project. So this one for MTA, you start scrolling horizontally and then you see the project. It's very, very minimalistic. One image or video showcasing the project or one kind of like focused text so that you know you can read it very, very minimalistic, but it's such a great experience. You finish, you finish watching this kind of like case study and then when you keep scrolling, you're zooming out, it's masking out and then you can enter into your next project. This one is for MailChimp. I'm a sucker for big typography. So whenever we have this like huge type on screen, I love this. But it's also so easy to really focus on the work. She's putting it on a blank piece of color. So really, really nice work. And again, one simple creative idea, the idea of just having shapes that also every once in a while kind of change the layout. So every time it looks different and then they're unmasking the work. Super simple creative idea, but beautiful, beautiful solution. I always know you're asking, but how does this work on mobile? So let's see how this looks on mobile. It actually works pretty well on mobile. You scroll, it's still horizontal scroll, which is not usually ideal here, uh, but then it moves into a normal scroll, which is way more ideal for, uh, for mobile. And this one actually, the images are taking a little bit too load, but actually this still looks pretty good uh, and the whole experience still passes on mobile. From Maria, she is a designer from Stockholm. And here we have this kind of like nice, simple interaction of rectangulars following your mouse. And when you click this, or if you scroll, it's kind of moving to the top. And then you can see that we have this effect that is similar to these rectangulars. Whenever we're scrolling, you have this kind of like cutted effect, which makes it look like a ripple when you're moving through the projects and also the text kind of changing really, really beautiful way to uh, create a transition between the project and it's kind of like snapping into the next project. Now, one more thing about this website, which again, looks beautiful. I already know that she's a great designer is you'll note if you read the little words that a lot of the projects here are conceptual projects. So Louis Vuitton is a concept project. She didn't necessarily work with Louis Vuitton, but when you're just scrolling this, it looks amazing. It looks as if she did work for, you know, high end client. And if you click this and you see the, the actual work that she did here, then you know, you know, oh, it actually looks really good. And she's explaining what she did here. Uh, so this is a really great way, even if you're starting out as a designer and you haven't really worked with amazing clients yet, you can still do this concept project. And if you present them well, like she's doing here, um, then you might get the chance to actually work with this type of uh, clients because she obviously can do very, very solid work for them. So this is what I love about this website, really like the transitions here and the way that she is moving you into the next project. By the way, let's see how this website works on mobile just because I know you need to know. And then on mobile here, she is changing this to kind of like a different format of just squares, but it's still, I'm scrolling through this, the format still works, right? The layout still works. You have the image here, you have the project. This looks good. I'm clicking on the case study. It's formatted actually pretty well for mobile. So this website is pretty well as a mobile responsive. These images might be a little bit too small for mobile, but overall as a case study, this works well in mobile. All right, the next website that I wanna show you is this one, it's from Dorian. So we have the way that she's showing the projects here is with video on the background. And this, although it for a minute got me a little bit confused, it's great. I don't have to scroll a lot and it's already showing me animations, interactions, and it gives a lot of idea about the quality of her work. So that's really, really nice. Um, overall, very solid portfolio. I personally really like this kind of like little emojis that follow your cursor here. Um, again, not generic emojis, but nice emojis or nice kind of like illustration that she did herself. Let's check out the about me. Um, really nice typography here as well. And you can see her experience and 
also some blog posts that she's writing here with her custom illustration. So very, very clear vibe to this website, n combining the playful illustrations with kind of like very premium looking typography. I love this website. The next one that I wanna show you is this one. It's from a designer called Tanya, and I think she is Russian, although I'm not particularly sure. She is doing something really, really cool on this website that I've never seen before. First of all, very nice layout, and she's showing the portfolio. Um, and you can see it's kind of like a unique way to show the work, which is basically she's just talking about her clients. But if you want to click here, then you'll be actually taken to the actual website of the client. And for me personally, I really love when uh, designers are linking to the actual work because sometimes in case studies, you can lie. But when you link to an actual live website, to me, that's the biggest proof that you're actually proud of your work. Now, what's brilliant about this website to me, besides the way that it's kind of like breaking the grid and it's kind of like messy and playful with these lines is the way that she is talking about her clients and the way that she's using testimonials. So again, she's talking about her principles and values and stuff like that. And she is, even has kind of like a video of her personal life just so that you can get a sense of who she is and how working with her, what the type of person you're going to be working with. But here's the thing that I really, really loved about this website, which is instead of boring testimonials that a lot of people bring to the website, which are, again, even if they're boring, super important, put, please put testimonials. She put voice messages from her and I'm going, just going to click one of them. And, and you can see, <laughs> so this is in Russian, although she put here a little bit of translation. But the point is, these are voice messages of the clients with their emotional reaction of how blown away they are when she sent them the work. You listen to this and you hear how excited and emotional the clients are and immediately I've never seen this before. I've never seen somebody put voice messages of clients, but the emotions, the way that you can hear the emotions in, in her voice, let's listen to this again. So even though I don't speak Russian, I can hear in her voice how excited she is about the design she bought. And to me, that completely sells her, like her work. I, I would love to work with her if she gets her clients so excited. To me, that's selling. and. Again, to me, this is kind of like groundbreaking user experience because I've never seen anybody does that. And I think it, it works. It really creates emotion, creates trust. And I think this is really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, so well done, Tatiana. Let's actually go ahead and check this website in mobile. So this one has also been adjusted pretty well to mobile. You can see that the layout is a little less crazy here on mobile. Obviously, we have less space to work with, but overall, it still works and adjusted pretty well for mobile. All right, let's see the last website that we have for you. This one is from Fungi, which is an amazing designer from Zimbabwe. And she's also recently joined our coaches team here in Flux Academy. And what I love about her website is the way that she is bringing in her kind of like African vibe. And she's doing this by just showing the work because her work is as it is, has all of these kind of like African colors and patterns. And just by, she doesn't have to do too much, just place her work as they are. And in the hero section, it's the most kind of like obvious. She's just putting in the images and moving them around. And already it creates this very, very unique uh, vibe and look and feel. Of course, the choice of type that we have here and the way that it's animating also adds to the African vibe here. But it's, it's really cool because it's, African, both African and premium at the same time, the way that things are moving and the way that she is combining it with a very solid font here and you know, with, with the actual um, body type here, it looks really, really well and creates a really, really professional look. So again, sometimes you don't have to be super creative, you just put your work out there as the first thing. If you're proud of your work, you just put out the work. And here, I think we only have just four projects and it's enough to create a very, very, no, actually six projects. It's a super, super impressive portfolio as it is. Let me see how this website is being adjusted to mobile. And yeah, it looks pretty well as it is scrolling through this. 
the work is breaking from a two grid to just one grid. It's also very nice kind of like interaction how the works are covering each other here on mobile. Yeah, and this website is also being adjusted very well to mobile. So you cannot tell me anymore that when you have a very cool, beautiful website on desktop, it does not necessarily translate well on mobile. If you're smart about this, you can adjust very creative concepts and layouts into great mobile responsive websites. Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite. And if you want to see us rebuilding some of these experiences on Webflow, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.